Let's Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm so fine. To join us. Hello, how are you today? Now we have uh, energy and everything. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. How is everything? Good? Just fine? Yes. Okay. Great. Fine. Okay, good. So we're um, today we're about to to finish the section three. Okay. We're just going to have some uh, review of the vocabulary that we had yesterday, and that's it, okay? And also, we're going to check the midterm exam, okay? Today is the day. I hope, I hope you, you did the homework, okay? But let me, let me check this one. So we have this one out. Okay, here it is. Okay, so there we have the the video that we were watching last night. Here we go. There, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. By the end of this. lesson you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay. So this is, you know, the, the last video we watched yesterday about comparative forms, right? And the, I don't know if you have any questions about the vocabulary or expressions, sentences that we studied last night. No problem? What is can be the comparative when new? Okay, very good. New is newer. Uh huh. And double double W. No, only. Okay, good question. I'm going to write it here in the chat. Newer. Okay, newer. Consonant double consonant vowel consonant. Uh huh. In this case, 
good question too, good comment. Uh, the W in English is not considered uh, it's not considered a consonant, right? So that's why uh, they say we say we, new new sounds like a vowel. Okay, it has to do with the sound. Uh, eh, recuerden que ayer les dije algunas excepciones, right? Eh, esta misma regla se aplica cuando se usa a and an. Okay? Que va de acuerdo al sonido. For example, you can say a house. Okay? And you say an honest man. Okay, an honest man. Then, las dos comienzan con H. Okay, pero en una se pone A y en la otra N. A donde ponen la A es porque suena como J, como consonante, house. Okay, y en la segunda la H es muda. In English, right? You say, for example, honest. Entonces se pone an honest man. Entonces aquí esto del sonido aplica en muchas eh, excepciones y este newer por eso le dije que era una muy buena pregunta eh, porque eh, se da el caso de que el new la w no es considerada una eh, eh, una consonante tenemos el mismo caso con umbrella en este caso dice an umbrella Le voy a dar otro ejemplo de sonido. An umbrella. Es la misma U y en la siguiente dice. University. Ok. This one, this one you have an. Suena como a. Oh, an umbrella un sonido vocal, pero en la siguiente donde aparece University, yo ya no suena como una U, una A, no que suena como le da un sonido de consonant, right? You, like, say, for example, at University. Ok, todos estos son casos de excepciones a las reglas, ok, in English, por los sonidos. Ok, so that's why in this case you use new word. Good. Good, good, good. Any other question? Not for the moment. Okay, great. Now we have the next one. Eugenia, would you please read this objective here which says knowledge check? Okay, instructions. Look at the pictures below and complete the following exercise using comparative adjectives. Okay. And then, for example, say, uh, what are the objects that you can see in that picture? You can see dress. Okay. Dress, uh -huh. um, chair. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. And pants. Pants, right? And then you have silk, polyester, and small. And then, you have, for example, you have the dress, two dresses, two shirts, shirts. or t-shirts, and two uh, pairs of pants, right? And then you have the material. Uh, for example, if you compare the two dresses, we can say the green dress is for me. Okay, for me, is prettier than the beige or brown, brown dress. The green dress is prettier or nicer stylish. than the brown, more stylish, uh -huh, more stylish mm -hmm. than the brown dress. Okay, good. So this is, for example, one way to compare. Uh, the brown dress is longer than the green dress. 
the opposite, the green dress is shorter than the brown dress. Okay? okay. So these are, you know, different forms to compare. What other comparison can we make with the shirts and with the pants? No, huh? What other comparisons can we make? ¿Qué otras comparaciones podemos hacer? Yes. The blue t-shirt is shorter than the red and white okay. t-shirt. Good. Eugenia, how do you say rayado in English? Okay. Who's the street? 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 No. No, it's, yo creo que van bien, solo que en la, the transition. Es que lo que pasa es que si decimos strip, strip, stripper es las que son las que bailan. ¿vale? Yeah. <laughs> be careful. No, the strip. Be careful, yeah, sí. Uh, yeah. No, es, no es, Be careful with that, right? Se lo digo porque yeah. para no cometer ese error, right? Uh, but it says stripes. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Uh -huh. okay, if uh, then that's the word, for example, the stripe one, okay? Then you're going to use, oh, you can. Uh -huh. Or you can use the the colors, right? The red and uh, the red, red and white. white, red and white. But you know, sometimes it's good to know the. It's good to know the uh, how do you say rayado, right? Well, right. Mm. Okay, very good. Okay, what other comparison? Another one. Sure. What is another comparison that we can make? Mm. Biter. Which one? Biter, the Amargo. Bitter? Bitter. With what? No, but I mean, with this clothes, con esta ropa? Oh. The, the green pants are shorter than, than brown pants. Than the brown ones. Okay, very good. Excellent. The green pants are shorter than the brown ones or than the brown pants. Okay, very good, Brian. Thank you very much. Teacher, can you say smaller? Uh, yes, you can say smaller, actually. Uh, uh, the only thing is the difference, probably, Fidel, is that sometimes a small is in, uh, like in this one, right? That you can use. A veces se puede para los. Let's say like the para las medidas, right? For example, in my case, in this shirt, I am uh, probably you know this is large, right? Large, and you can use medium, and then you can use a small. Then in the pants, probably in the pants, sometimes is the same, right? Uh, and then also you can use a small, medium, and what is the other one? A uh, small, medium, and large. Yes. And then, sure. uh -huh. if, if, if we if we can say that dress is is more adjust or or it's more adjusted or fit fit fit. Mm -hmm. Then you can use I know that something that fits. For example, that uh, ah, fit fit yes f i t f f i t fit. Mm -hmm. Eso creo que incluso en las camisas aparece ahora a fit one. Son de esas que son más ajustadas, right? Fit. F I T. Mm -hmm. It fits perfectly. Okay, very good. Nice. Then we have here some uh, examples here. It's a which dress is pretty or prettier? Pretty or prettier? Prettier. Prettier. Okay, which prettier. one? Is prettier. Prettier. Because you have two options: the yellow one or the green one. Okay, for me? The green one. The green one, right? The green one. <laughs> and the next one. Well, the green one is silk. And silk is? More, more expensive, expensive than, more than. And polyester. Are you sure? More expensive, not expensive here? Um, 
Hmm? More expensive. More expensive than. than. Okay, good. You are the teachers. Okay, you are the teachers. I am. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is my test. Okay. Then is this uh, is this blue t-shirt larger than or more larger than? Larger, larger than. than. Larger, larger than. than. Okay, good. Next one. No, the red, white, the red and white one is. Bigger. 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 Good. How about number three? Uh, better. Better. Hey, hey, look at better. Better. Ones. Which ones do Which you ones like? Do you like better? Better. 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 I prefer the green mm -hmm. cotton ones. Cotton ones. There are more, more stylish, stylish than. than. They're more stylish than. More stylish. The first one. Okay, good. The first one. Yes. All right. Good. And I have a pen. Okay. Okay. Congratulations for me and congratulations for you too. Okay. So we have 34 points. All of them are correct. Okay. Uh, remember to, to increase, right? To, to continue with the list in the document of work. For example, now you can put new, newer, okay, in the, in the general one that you have only ER, here prettier, we have more expensive, a larger, large, larger, big, bigger, good and better, and more large. Okay, you can incrementar la lista, right, of these words. Okay, questions? Mm -hmm. No, no questions. No questions. Excellent. Then now we're going to, what is this? Okay, we have the Wait, it is loading, 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 loading. Okay, there you go. This is the, the first part of the listening. Eh, creo que algunos de ustedes ya lo hicieron. Había algunos. But this one, eh, some strategies. What is a good strategy for the listening? ¿Qué estrategias utilizan ustedes para un listening? Sí, personalmente. Mm. Attention. 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 Uh -huh. yes. Listening several times, pay attention, concentrate. Uh, for example, uh, en mi caso, si yo escucho algo así en la computadora, si no tengo los dos audífonos y me concentro, cualquier ruido me, me saca de, de, de concentración. Okay? I have, I have that problem, right? In my case. Re so repeat, really? I, I take some note. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a Try good option. To, to record our voice record. Okay, recording record our, our voice and listening. Okay, good. And then, uh, for example, what Brian says, also take notes, tomar notas también ayuda, right? And, but I, at these levels, en estos niveles, yo creo que one thing that is very important is repeat your Escucharlo varias veces antes de hacer el ejercicio, right? Una, dos veces, tres, okay? Because they are only uh, one Lucy, minute. Michael, and Sylvie are... Or two minutes. They are not very, very long, right? So then it's good to, to uh, let's say, to familiarize our ear with the pronunciation, with the vocabulary, and with the context, okay? And the topic. So you have the topic, you have the vocabulary, and then also the pronunciation. Okay, so you listen the first time. Michael and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answer. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. 
It's good to meet you too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M A R C E A U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay, so this is the first time you listen to it. And then uh, probably you can take notes. Okay, si han tomado notas, after that you can listen again. Okay, and after you listen a second time, you can compare. Se comparan las notas y decir, ah, okay, vamos bien, right? Uh, because in that way, uh, muchas veces uno necesita confirmación, right? De que está haciendo bien las cosas. And then uh, that can be, for example, the, a good way. Take the notes, listen again, and then check. Check your, note, uh, your notes, okay? So that's one. And then another one that you can do is you play the audio here. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are Listen talking. Here. Listen and check the correct answers. And you check the answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay. No me van a poner igual que la del 512, right? Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is a listening. This is a listening. Este sí está fácil, right? <laughs> no, no, like, the, like that one. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So then here we have, for example, the Sylvie is, for example, Lucy's friend from Toronto or Michael's classmate. Lucy's friend. Lucy's friend. Lucy's friend. Friend, okay. And Silva's last name is? Marceau. The second Marceau. one. Marceau. The second one. Second one. A R T E A Y. A U. A U. Okay, very good. A M A R C E A U. Good. Uh, Lucy's math. Okay. It's really good. Really good. Really, really, really good. Really good. Like our teacher. Huh? Yes, yeah. the math teacher, but this is math teacher, not English teacher. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. they are all in the, in the same school. In the same school. school. In the same school. In the same same school. school. Okay, perfect. And then you have the second one, right? Which is listen to the conversation and select the correct answer again. But this is Ben. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me place now. So we have to open it too. We open it here. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? 
I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what size are you? Small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. All right. So here we have, for example, it's a Ben prefers green shirts, red shirts, or blue shirts. Green shirts. Green, green shirts. Green shirts. Green shirts. Green shirts. And the blue shirts are twenty nine dollars. Twenty nine dollars. More reasonable. Yes. More yeah. And the green Plus shirts are polyester. Polyester. Cotton. Made of cotton. Cotton. Polyester. Cotton. 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 Polyester. Cotton. 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 It's more okay. expensive. Hey, you remember that is my test, right? If my test, now I'm going to get Medium. And medium. 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 Okay, so medium. All right. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Okay, this is uh, the moment of truth. If we got up, we have, oh, okay, no, I'm really good. I'm really good. Okay, so it says 20 out of 20. Okay. Trust me, trust me. Confide in me. Look. Right, I have 20. Okay, good. Good teamwork. Buen trabajo de equipo, right? Eh, this one is confusing. Eh, aquí se confundí un poco, right? Porque habla del polyester. But... Anne and Ben are... Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. Mm -hmm. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. Okay, the green polyester. ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Okay, the Say, Ben, what size are you? Better, Small or medium? Material. Yes, that's why, you know, sometimes it's good to to write, okay? To write notes or to listen two or three times, okay? Eh, y esto puede suceder en exámenes, right? Eh, que a veces uno escucha solo una vez y por la rapidez... Escuchó algo y se le fue un, de, un detallito. Y a veces eso no es que uno no escuche bien o que no entienda, right? Eh, remember that is, listening es una habilidad a veces que no va a medir a veces el conocimiento, sino que eso, la habilidad que uno tiene de escuchar y, y, y contestar algo al mismo tiempo, like two or three activities at the same time, okay? But in this case, that's why it's uh, skills, estas skills necesitan training. Lo mismo sucede con el skill of speaking, La habilidad de hablar, a skill of listening, a skill of writing, and a skill of reading. Okay, so that's why they are skills, abilities. Okay, good. Eh, voy a interrumpir un minuto solo para tomarles la picture. Que ya veo que en este momento es cuando más tenemos. Okay, creo que están. All right, and then we have. Okay, here. Let me check. Here we go. Okay, we have one. This is stop. The second one. Okay, one more and we're done. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so that's it. Okay, good. Now let's continue then. Thank you. Okay, so then this is the listening and strategies, right? How to do it. The next one is the fill in the blanks. 
this is when you say, for example, the uh, correct form B, using the, the, uh, the correct uh, form could be, in this case, R is, or depending on, um, right? If it is using, I am. Okay, in the first one, which one would you use? R. R. Okay, where so then we have, where, where are you from, Teresa? Okay. What about the number two? Is. Is. Okay. In your uh -huh. class, now, remember, is. remember when you, well, at the end, I will show you the answers because sometimes, you know, you have to use capital letters. Okay, and probably that would be correct or incorrect. Yes. Number three? Yes. Okay, uh -huh. we are talking about the math, the math class. Okay, so it is, is. Say what is. Uh -huh. What is. In this one, Maria and Brian. R. R. Uh -huh. Because we are talking about two people. Okay. So we have R. There you go. Next one, instructions. Complete the following conversations with simple present. Then this do. one we have where? Do. 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 Where do. Where do you work? I work in a restaurant. I am a chef. Okay, not only what, where he works, but also what he does. Next one. Does. Yes. Yes. What does he do? What does he do exactly? Exactly. He's a pilot for Global Airlines. And where does, where does she go? Go. Where does she go? go. To school. Okay, here comes the moment. Voila. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a 20 out of 20 points. And this is the different form of where are you, okay? Don't forget this, R is singular, singular in for one person, second person, singular third person, and then we have plural first person, Maria and Brian, no, sorry, third person, they, they are, okay? Another topic that we study here is vocabulary. For example, choose the right possessive adjectives. Oh, by the way, wait a minute. Here. Uh, let me see. Okay, check, for example, uh, sometimes, a veces, Le sale malo porque pusieron mayúscula aquí o un punto, right? Eh, la número dos es mayúscula porque está al inicio, right? At the beginning of the sentence. Eh, creo que si la ponemos con minúscula. Si quiere, pero también se puede poner minúscula porque yo es, la puse así como por, minúscula y, la, y me la agarró, me la puso buena. Se la puso buena, eso estoy viendo ahorita. Ok, ahí está. Eh, let's see here. Pues yes. sí, sí, man, mm -hmm. yes, no problem. Eh, porque a veces, como que se vuelve muy case sensitive, o sea, sensitivo al mayúscula, minúscula, o lo programan de esa manera. And then, Sí, mira, aunque lo ponga mayúscula o minúscula, está como aceptable. Okay, in, that, in this case, there would be no problem. Okay, good. So just to avoid mistakes, to double check the platform. Now in this one, we have circle the word, where choose the right possessive adjective. And then you have this one. Possessive adjectives, remember, his, their, your, my, our, okay? Which one can we use in the first one? Nice sure. to meet you, rich, and what's yeah. your sure. last name? Sure. What's your last name again? 
Okay, this is when you want to re uh, somebody to repeat, okay, to repeat your last name. Okay, oh, what's your last name again? Okay, I'm going to be right? But what's your last name again? Sorry, I forgot it. Two. My. My. My last name is Parker. My last name is Parker. It's nice to meet you too. Okay, my last name is Parker. It's nice to meet you too. Here. This is my new friend, Here. Elizabeth. Here. Everyone Here. calls her Here. Here. Beth. Beth. Okay, everyone calls her Beth. And they say, hi, Beth. We're the Johnsons. Our. Our. Our, our, our first, first names. names are Frank and Judy. Okay, very good. Nice. Next one. Him. Okay. Him. These Johnny are Depp. the uh -huh, Johnny Depp. These are the object mm -hmm. pronouns after the verb. Okay. Uh -huh. Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. I like him a lot. And that's true. <laughs> ah, por aquí hasta para decirlo. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> hasta con más estilo lo dijo. Can you repeat that? Can you read that again? <laughs> Léalo otra vez. So, eh, hey, jóvenes, jóvenes, escuchen cuando una mujer le gusta a alguien. ¿eh? ¿Cómo lo dice? Right? Say it. Read it again. Okay. okay. Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. I like him a lot. Wow. Good. Aquí lo voy a poner yo. Talia is my favorite actor. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. All right. Good. Nice. What about the next one? Them. Them. Them, uh, them. 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 Okay. Music videos aren't very interesting. Do you like, like them? them? Okay. Do you like them? Good. And it, three. My it, favorite, favorite TV program is Survivor. Survivor. It. It. Do what do you think of it? it. Okay. If, uh, can, who wants to read this one? If, Adriana, lea esta oración, please, complete. My favorite program is Survivor. What do you think? What do you think? What do you Okay, what do you think of it, right? So this is the important one. Is it, what do you think of it? Okay, what do you think of it? Of okay. it, of it. What do you think of it? Okay, uh, for example, Ernesto, can you read only the question? What do you think of it? What do you think of it? Okay, what do you think of it? What Eugenia? do you think of it? What do you think of it? Of it. Of, of it. Of it. Of it. Uh, let me see if you will be, wait, something like this, algo así. I think, think of, think of, think of it, think of, think of, of it. Okay, think of think it. it. Think of it, huh? why do you think of okay. it? Okay. okay. <laughs> what do you think of it? Uh, good. Uh, Daniel, can you read it? What do you think of it? What do you think of it? Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Ana okay. Rebecca? What do you think of it? What do you think of it? Very good. Nice. Dora? What do you think of it? What do you think of it? Okay. You see, for example, when you use this, cuando lo dicen así, suena así como cuando Jenny habló de Johnny Depp, right? Suena fast. Very, very fluent. Okay. Nice. Sounds very nice. Harrison. Okay, Harrison. What do you uh, think? Uh, what do you think of it? What do you think of it? Okay, good. Brian. Yes. Read the, read the question. What do you think of it? What do you think of think of it? Okay. Then, if you get used to, eh, si se acostumbran a esa pronunciación, les va a ayudar al listening también, right? Porque así es como lo van a escuchar. 
what do you think of it? Eh, a menos que alguien esté un profesor, a veces decimos, what, what do, you do you think of it? Of it. Pero en una no, eh, conversación normal, what do you think of it? Okay. That's what you're going to listen to. Okay, good. Then the next one is to complete the sentences, fill in the gaps with the correct time expressions. Remember, in, on, at, right? Using those prepositions about the time. Okay, so we have, I sleep. At. 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 At 10 p.m. on weekday, okay? That is a, a specific moment, a specific time during the night. Okay. What about the next one? At, at night. At, at night. At night. Don't okay. get home late at night. Okay. Your microphones, please. I'll... The music. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, okay. I listen to music. Okay, John gets home late. At night. At, night. At, night. at night. at night. At night. Okay, very good. At night. And they have lunch on, on Saturdays. On Saturdays. Saturdays. On Saturdays. On Saturdays. Okay, remember. On Saturdays. Always on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday. Okay, very good. Four. The evening. In the evening. In the I evening. Around in the evening. 11 in the evening. In the evening, right? I go to bed around 11 in the evening, right? Mm. This is, if you if we, uh, remember also the word around, right? Around is appro approximately, right? More, more or less. More or less, exactly. Before, a little before or a little after, okay? So this is around. Ahí por las, what, uh, onza, right? Next one. We have we have a class have in the class morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Okay. Remember the portions, the portions of the day in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, right? In the middle of the night. Okay. You can use at night. At noon. Okay. At night. Huh, exactly. That's the sun. In the middle of the night at Billy Joel. And then you have, for example, at noon is a specific. At, the, at night is also specific, and then we have this. Okay, how much is this watch? How much is this watch? Remember, we have here demonstrative pronouns. This, that, these, and those. Okay, this, that, these, and those. So we have this. How much is this watch? Okay. Look at these. At those. Those. Okay. Those, those. or this. Those because they those. are yeah. yes. plural and it's over there. Over there. Over there. Over there is distance. Okay. For yeah. Over there. Okay. Far. Over here. Over, over here. here. Over here. here. Over there. For example, over a there. come over here. Come over here. Okay, come over here. Venga aquí, right? And go, go over there. Okay, so over there is distance, and here is close. So we have those. Those. Uh huh. Next one. I like this. This. this plural, this. right? This. This. Gold earrings. Oh, earrings, gold earrings, and then excuse me. That, I like that that, 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 cap. Cap. Okay. that cap. Can I see it, please? So so there is no contact with it. And she likes glasses. Those glasses. Those those like those. those glasses. Those. Okay, she likes those glasses. My goodness, okay. Hoy ando imparable, ¿sí? Solo diez es in all my tests. Okay, good. Excellent. Very good. Congratulations, people. Okay, these are prepositions of time. 
okay, time expressions. And then we also have the demonstrative pronouns, close, singular, far, plural, close, plural, far, uh, singular, and far in plural. Okay, so we have the demonstrative pronouns. Okay. What's the next one? Here. And then here there is a, a reading part. Okay, in this one, uh, also, ¿cuáles son algunas estrategias that you can use to read? For example, this one says, read the email and check the correct answers, right? Eh, si es una evaluación, right? Eh, y tienen el chance de ver las possible questions. Entonces, the first thing is, for example, Ernesto is Chris's. They are asking for the connection, the relationship between Ernesto and Chris. Eh, Chris is a, the occupation, maybe. And Daniel, also occupation, and then you have the options, right? Then you have, for example, the different options here. Chris is a, then you have to check which is the best option or according to the reading. Okay, so this is one strategy that you can use and then you go for the reading. Let's let me close this one. And then we go here. Okay, then uh, we're going to practice. Uh, Ana, 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 Ana Guerra, okay. Did I you? read, teacher. Please. Okay. Hi, Ernesto. In your email messages, you ask me, uh, what do you every day? What do well, I do? I, pardon? What do I do? What do I do every day? Well, I'm a student at the University of Michigan. I really like my classes. I study computer science. I Chinese. I go to school around uh, eight in the morning on weekdays around noon. I have lunch with some classmates on Mondays and Friday. I work out in the gym before my class in, classes. And in the late afternoon on Tuesdays and Tuesday and Thursday, my friends Daniel and I have part-time job. We work in the school cafeteria and I study in the library every week weeknight until about 2 a.m. I'm, I'm a full-time student and I don't have time to watch TV. I, what do you do? And what do you do? Send me another email, please. You knew different, Chris. Chris, okay, there you go. Okay, so you see, for example, important information that you can have here is uh, who is writing the who is writing the email? Chris. Chris. Okay. Chris. Who, re Chris. Who, re who receives the email? Ernesto. Ernesto, right? Uh, for example, the uh, what does uh, what does Chris do? He's a full time student. Full -time. He's a full time student. What does he study? And uh, the university science, of uh, gym. computer computer and science computer, computer science, science and right? Chinese. that is computer science and also Chinese right you studied two things computer science and Chinese uh, does he like does he like uh, let's say oh yes does he like his classes does he like his classes yes yes right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, for example, uh, what time does he go to school? Around 8 a.m. Around, around 8 uh -huh. in the morning. Around in the morning. 
around 8 a.m. in the morning. Weekdays. Right? Uh, weekdays, correct. Uh huh. Very good. That's detail. Those are the details. Good. What else? And then, uh, what time does he does he have lunch? Around noon. Around At noon. Noon. Does he have lunch alone? No, no. It's with no. some with classmates. Some with some classmates. Excellent. Very good people. Great. Uh, for example, uh, when does he go? When does he go to the gym? He goes on Mondays and Fridays. He goes. Uh -huh, he goes to the gym on Mondays and Fridays. Correct. Uh, before class. Before his classes, right? Before his classes. Okay, good. And, and then he goes to the gym late. He work part time job on the Tuesday and Thursdays. Yes. Okay. With Daniel, with his Daniel, friend. His friend. That's correct. Okay. He where do they works Where do they work? In the school cafeteria. In the school cafeteria. The school they cafeteria. work in the school cafeteria, right? And where where does he study? Uh, let's say every night. In the, in the library. library. In the library. And the what night. time does he finish? Yeah. What time does he stop? About two a.m. Two a.m. Two a.m. Right. So he's a full time student. Okay. And does he watch TV? No. 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 He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't have, doesn't time. have time. Okay, because he doesn't have time. You know, right. So you see, this is how you can, after you read and you have some uh, reading comprehension, then you are capable of answering the questions. Excellent. Okay, so we have Ernesto is Chris's. Remember, this is the possessive, right? This mm -hmm. Chris's new friend. New friend. New friend. New friend. Okay, and Chris. Is what full time student? Full time student. The full time student. Uh, what about Daniel? Is Chris's friend. 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 Good, 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 good. On Tuesday and Thursdays, Chris works or with Daniel. Works, works, works with, with Daniel. Daniel. Works with Daniel, right? Because they have the part time job. All right. Okay, people. Acabo de aprobar la primera parte del programa. Right, good. Good job. Yes, good job. Puedo continuar enseñando la second part, right? Okay. I am approved. Okay, then uh, please don't, eh, los que no lo han hecho, pues, ya vieron que no hay ningún detalle así de the platform. Eh, creo que no es no va a haber eh, problema con, con la plataforma, ya es el tiempo para que lo hagan, right? Eh, hoy, voy a pasar, hoy voy a revisar las notas de, de todas las tareas que han hecho y si hay alguien que no ha llegado hasta ahí, le voy a mandar un, un mensaje para que se vaya poniendo al día. La cuestión es, como les dije la vez pasada, no, atrasar, right? no atrasarse con la plataforma. Yes. Teacher, tomorrow I'm going to, to do... Everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, yes, okay. Perfect. No problem. Eh, porque lo, tengo que hacerlo el jueves. Eh, bueno, a mí me piden que lo revise el jueves. Perdón. Sí, jueves en la noche o viernes en la mañana. Y luego el lunes. Porque a veces, precisamente por eso, porque sabemos que lo, a veces el trabajo, el tiempo, a veces le queda más chance a la gente de hacerlo el, el digamos, el, el fin de semana. Okay. Un weekend. Así, ajá, un weekend. That's correct. That was the word. Es, eh, Pero a veces, eh, sí, acuérdense que si se reciben un recordatorio, no es para, no van a decir, ay, qué teacher, qué molesta, que no sé. Y si lo dicen, pues no importa, tampoco, no lo voy a oír. Pero, pero no es para, no es para la, la intención es siempre el recordatorio, right No es con la intención de, de digamos, de acoso, right it's The idea is just to... It's talking. Yeah, <laughs> yes, no like that. Okay, it's just, uh, just to remind you, right? And if you have questions, just uh, let me know, okay? Then... Uh, I will uh, show you only the introduction, okay, of, for you to have an idea what we are going to have in the in the next uh, what in the next uh, section, which is section four. Solo les muestro que viene. After this, here we 
go. Okay. So in the next one, say, do you like rap? Okay. So we have, for example, the expressing likes and dislikes. Okay. So here we're going to expand vocabulary. Okay. Here we're going to practice vocabulary about the things that you like and the things that you don't like. A example, we can be about food, music, uh, movies, uh, what else? Uh, sports, uh, actors, actresses, uh, uh, places, places, okay, uh, places. And, and places, for example, when we talk about places, it's very ex extent, right? I have clothes. For example, you can say, I like t shirts. Uh, and I dislike, or I hate, or but I hate uh, a formal clothes. Or for example, I like casual, but I hate formal clothes. Uh, I don't like, I don't like ties, okay? Or somebody can say, I love ties, okay? Um, I love, I love uh, formal suits, okay? So you're gonna use, so this one is for increasing vocabulary. Uh, the other thing that we're gonna have is, for example, questions uh, in simple present using do or does with the question words, right? For example, now we're gonna practice more the third person. What do you do? Where do you do? When do you do? Why do you do this? Uh, how do you do this? For example, uh, uh, can you use a can you use a photocopier machine? Oh, yes, I can. How do you use, okay? How do you use, uh, or how can I use a photocopier machine? Okay, you can give instructions, right? Well, first you turn on the machine, you open the, the, the tab, and then you can uh, put the paper here, and then you can give little instructions, okay? So then if you see it's about a uh, vocabulary, right? So also uh, TV shows where they have to pay attention to details about the contestants, okay? The people that participate in different shows. So we're gonna have all this in the next unit. Also wood, okay? We have to study all this next week, okay? So we have to prepare Say, listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used, used when making plans. Would you like to come? Would you like to go? For example, do you have a, say, do you want coffee? Or would you like some coffee? What is the difference? Do you want some coffee is informal, okay? Something like when you say, quieres café, right? <laughs> And then it say, would you like some coffee? Yes. It's, uh -huh. Sounds like it's like that. Give the option. Uh -huh, the to option. Say yes and not. Yes, they say, would you like some coffee? Gusta una tacita de café? And I can mm -hmm. remember like Doña Florinda, right? Would you like mm -hmm. a cup of coffee? <laughs> and they say, then you say yes or no, right? But yeah, but you see, wood, wood is always more uh, polite. Okay, using wood siempre va a ser algo así como más cortés, right? For using polite and do sounds very straight, okay? Sometimes muy directo, right? And then, and informal. Uh, it is correct, yes. Uh, if we are with friends, or so for example, brothers or uh, your sisters, you know, people close to you, no problem if, if you say, for example, uh, do you want some coffee? Uh, do you like this? Do you like that? Okay. But if you want to be formal, if you want to be educated, polite, then you will sound better if you say, would you? Okay. Would you like to, uh, would you like to study English tonight? Would you, re would you please repeat? Okay. Okay. Different if I say, for example, hey, can you repeat this? Okay. But if you say, would you please repeat that? Okay, you can use would or you can also use could. Okay, yeah. uh, could or would. Okay, uh, you say could you? Okay, yo tenía un, un, un alumno hace años. 
en primer grado era, era más, más gringo que, que salvadoreño. Y siempre, él solo, siempre decía, could you, teacher, could you help me with this? Teacher, could you help me with that? Y, y una vez llegó la mamá y me preguntó, mire, me dice, ¿qué tal va Kushu con usted? Me decía. Y le digo, ¿quién es Kushu? Le digo, ya me, dijo, ya me dijo el nombre del niño, hace Kushu, porque le dice Kushu a su, a su hijo. Le digo, a que no lo ha oído, que para todo. Hey, Mom, could you help me with this? Could you help me with that? Could you? El niño era tan educado que para todo decía could you. Pero cuando en inglés suena could you, could you suena could you. ¿Vale? Entonces, por ejemplo, could you. Entonces, así le decían en la casa al niño, could you. Porque siempre andaba él, decía, hey, could you help me with this? Could you give me this? Could you give me that? Pero era forma de, ya de lo que, que siempre lo usó de decir, podría hacer esto, podría darme aquí. And it sounded very nice. It sounded very nice. But you know, it was could you, okay? So then could you, would you, could you, would you, do you, okay? Okay, those are the, the different forms to use it. Okay, people? Time flies. El tiempo vuela, right? Uh, congratulations. Uh, don't forget to study, okay? Study, prepare vocabulary. Eh, como se portaron bien, ya saben cuál es el regalo, ¿va? The present is tomorrow. No class tomorrow. No class. Okay, very good. No class tomorrow. Okay, you have a free day. Llevan dos semanas consecutivas que se ganan el viernes, right? A ver si lo ganan la próxima. Yes, you have the day off, okay? If you study vocabulary, then you have another Friday off next week. Okay, okay. people, have a good night. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.